Good evening, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for some Frozen Wilds DLC for her, uh, what game? Horizon Zero Dawn tonight. Um, I hope you guys have been doing good. We made amazing progress through the story last night. Um, we found out a lot about Project Zero Dawn and got a lot of those answers that we had been looking for. Not all of them, but a lot of them. And uh, we found out some, some really cool things, so I'm excited to hop into that and dive back in a little bit more. We'll discuss Hades and some things like that when we get started. Looks like we have a cat visitor. Hello. Hi, Dio. Why do you always look so mad when I hold you? It's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> Offended. Okay, let me let me get his blanket. Oh, he likes he likes the Twitch partner blanket. <laughs> Come on, sit, sit down. <laughs> Shall we hop into our game? So. There's some things we I would like to talk about before we really get started here. So for one, we're playing on our PS5 controller again. That's that's working very nicely. And we completed all of the hunting grounds. So we got all of the hunting grounds weapons, which was really nice. We've gotten all the tall necks, all the bandit camps. We did refuse to kill Nil. I don't know if there will be any consequences to that or not. We are going to find out. And we just did one of these side quests. What side quest is that? Is that an errand? Healer's Oath? Aloy offered to find a healer to tend to a young Shadow Carja refugee. Oh, that was that random camp that we went to. I guess we could start with that one real fast if we wanted, but I kind of just want to get to our Frozen, Frozen Wilds DLC. Because uh, we're pretty much set up. We did big story things last time. Very, very big story things. So, we basically learned about Gaia. And Gaia had, like, what did they call it? Like, subordinate programs or something they called it. They were not AI, but they were to be triggered under a certain set of, like, circumstances, basically. Um, and one of them is Hades. And Hades was the program that's basically there as, like, a just-in-case Gaia messes up and tries to, like, terraform, and then everything goes wrong, and everything, like, starts dying, or, like, you know, there's, like, a big problem. Then you release Hades. It, you know, wipes the planet clean again, and then Gaia attempts another attempt, right? Um, subordinate functions, that was it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, hi, Dennis. And yeah, we, we should go find the healer real quick. We can, we can go do that. Well, we'll help some people. But basically, we also learned about Apollo. And Apollo is this, like, bank of knowledge, essentially, that is kind of missing. We don't know what happened to Apollo, because basically it was supposed to be able to okay, sorry i'm getting a little bit scattered um the apollo function was basically supposed to be like the human bank of knowledge it was supposed to be like all of the art all of the history they brought in like a bunch of like historians and like art you know art professionals art historians more likely um to basically create like a record of human knowledge and this was supposed to be like given to people to help them terraform and use gaia and then also get access to, like, later animals and different things to help them, like, fully bring back humanity. Um, we also are wondering a little bit more about, like, Aloy at this point and where she came from exactly. Because Silence was not so nice when he was basically saying uh, that she that there would be no one waiting for her, that she came from a lab. And... We don't know if that's exactly true or not, but we know that it's very likely at this point that she is a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. But as for what exactly that means, I don't know. Like, they had, like, a, a whole chapter or, like, a whole text thing on, like, embryo selection and how they did that and stuff. And so we don't know exactly if they were, like, 
cloning people? Like, we, they weren't exactly clear on, like, where they came from or if they were, like, children. So, like, we might be, like, a genetic, like, child of, like, Elizabeth so bad. We don't really, we don't really know. So, we are going to find out when we get to the mountain, but that is kind of later in the game. Apparently, this DLC might tell us a little bit more about Hades or something. I'm not exactly sure. We also need to go help the Nora as soon as possible, um, because they are being attacked by Helis's men. But first, I think we need to do the DLC, you know, like, maybe we'd go, like, realistically, yeah, we'd probably go help the Nora first, but, like, they'll be fine. Uh, it's, 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 it's fine, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, and so I think it's a good time for us to go up and do the DLC. I think we are level, what, 48 now? Which is kind of crazy, so. Holy moly. <clears throat> and... That's kind of where we're at. Like I said, we need to go meet the Nora, go into the mountain. Um, does the quest say anything more? Main answers Aloy has sought all her life or finally within her grasp if she can defeat the Eclipse invasion of the Embrace and fight her way inside the tribe's sacred mountain. So we will go there soon. I, I feel like that's like a whole thing. And we will finish the end of the game uh, when we go do that. But for today, we're going to start the Frozen Wilds. I'm assuming we are just gonna get into it a little bit and then we'll, we will keep going uh, at the start of this next week so fun is is the is the stream okay it, uh, my internet's been a little bit weird lately again it's not as reliable as I'd like I need to look into like a business internet or something like that I don't know I don't know I'm not satisfied with my level of customer service yet so anyways I, I will get that internet fixed sometime soon Okay, stream fine. Okay, that's good news. Okay, well, anyways, um, let's go do the side quest. Is it an errand? Where is that? I'm assuming this is going to be a pretty quick one. Can I go down there from here? Looks like it. Hmm. Oh, why? Okay. Starting and falling off a cliff. That's good news. Seems like a really sandy, stormy area. Hmm. This game does remind me a lot of Breath of the Wild in places, you know? I just thought it was like the Gerudo, Gerudo Desert. Like, I feel like we need... Some kind of like we, we need some kind of like mask or something for the sand can't be good to breathe blazon arch settlement okay this is new i like all the the little towns in this game they are very different in very in like different parts of the map it's cool to see like the contrast in designs the different architecture references How you believe? The healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself. But you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tent city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine. Nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin. Thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. Um... Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the Citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What if I make you? No, I won't say that. <sighs> You're kind of an ass healer. <laughs> There's no cure it's a good for voice conscience. <laughs> but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. I probably That's have not one of how those. charity works. 
Yeah, it not charity. To use words. You'd settle my debts for a while. Those parts aren't exactly easy to come by. As it happens, a thunder jaw prowls the valley of Omen. I've fought a lot of thunder jaws. I've got to have one, right? Let's see. I know it well because they expect me to put its victims back together. Runaways, mostly. Mm. If I do this, it's not for you. Oh, I'm not expecting you to do it at all. But I'll be heading back to the Citadel <laughs> okay. later. Well, do I have one? Oh, no, he wants me to go get a fresh one, doesn't he? Can I don't I not? have the part yet. In the Valley of O- But you won't just give- No. Okay, well, let's go fight a Thunderjaw to start off our day. At least we've been over here already. <laughs> Prime and welcome on in. Greetings from Colorado. I love it. We're all in Colorado now. Aloy's in Colorado. I'm in Colorado. You're in Colorado. I love it. Welcome. <laughs> Um, both Horizon Zero and Breath of the Wild came out around the same time. Yeah, they were both, what, 2017? Right? That's funny. If this game had came out on Switch, I bet I would have played it, but it did not, and it would probably not run very well, so that's fair. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna just start off, you know, Warm up our day with a little place. thunder jaw here. It's fine. Thunder jaw shouldn't be hard to find. No, it should not be hard to Just find. Just see it before it sees me. Yep, there it is. Okay. Uh, I like these a lot. Can I hit it? Not yet. Okay, wait. Let's use a bow. Attract its attention a little bit. All right, we've got both the cannons off of it. Whoops, that's the jump button, not dodge. Okay, quickly pick it up. Good. One. It's okay. Okay, you know what? Hey, look, just leave that there for a moment. Okay, maybe I should have gone back up a moment sooner. It's okay. Worked out. Woo! I like this thing a lot. Explosions. Easy peasy. That is so much easier than that used to be. Do you guys remember that cauldron when I had to fight this one for the first time and it was like the most painful thing ever and I just couldn't figure out picking up the weapons off the floor. I just, I literally couldn't figure it out. Couldn't, couldn't see it. Just, it was not visible to my brain. <laughs> Forget about traveling light. Okay, inventory is full. Let's solve that problem. Modifications are even full. Okay, and then resources. We have a lot of resources. I should probably go sell some of this random stuff. Like, I don't know if I need that. I don't know if I need a lot of this stuff. I know some of it I need for crafting though, and I don't really remember which I need for crafting and which I don't. That's fine, I can pick it up. <laughs> no, I can't pick it up. Gosh dang it, it picked up the chill water instead. Seriously? The game, prioritize please. Prioritize. The chill water was not the thing to pick up right there. That was the opposite of the thing. I make it look easy. Oh, thank you. Tri tri trial and error. 
You know, I've learned just about myself as a human. Um, I often do require a little, a little trial and error. Sometimes I have to learn all of the wrong ways to do something before I, then I can do the right ways. You know, because I have to learn what what I can't do. And then I know what I can do, right? Like, I don't know. It's it's not the most efficient way of learning, I do admit. <laughs> All right, let's go travel back real quick. Oh, without my disguise. Okay. Oh, that's to modify. I just want to put it on. Have I maxed my inventory capacity? Um, for some things, not for everything though. Like some of them require some random fish bones and stuff that I have not gotten. I have your machine part. A deal's a deal. See to the girl, and it's yours. On my oath. But tell me, if this girl survives, what do you suppose is her future? It's better than not having a future at all. What a charming notion. Come, come, let's be quick about this. Kindness doesn't keep well in the heat. I'm glad Helis is off fighting for our future. She may be a terror, but Oh, I just true. remembered one of the things I wanted to talk about at the beginning of the stream that I totally forgot. TwitchCon! Did you see that they announced TwitchCon in, what, um, in Paris and Las Vegas? Is anyone going? Is that something I should try to go to? I went to TwitchCon in 2019 when I'd streamed for like two days. Because I wanted to check it out, because it sounded fun. And it was fun, and then I wanted to go the next year, and then there was no next year, so that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, so let me know if you guys uh, are like interested in going to any of that or anything. I also wanted to mention that like Twitch added like a react feature. I don't know if you guys see that. They're like adding it to channels selectively. I can't quite tell if mine has it or not yet, but let me know what you guys think about that in general. Um, yeah, maybe Paris? Oh, that'd be fun. That would be an adventure. That would be so cool. Maybe. That's that one's a lot sooner though. That one's in July. That would take a lot more a lot more planning. Um when is the PS5 stream? As soon as we finish this game. So we have the DLC and then just the end of the game. So probably a couple more days. I'm assuming next week. I just kind of need to get a little further into this DLC and try and like estimate. I've heard the DLC takes about eight hours, so if we get just a couple hours done today, then maybe like one long stream, maybe two, and then we should be done with the whole game. Probably two streams and then we could be done with the whole game if they were nice long streams. So probably next Wednesday could possibly be PS5 unveiling or something. We'll see. Let me try to plan that out. Um, TwitchCon is still a thing. Oh, yeah. Yoshio, I know that that was like a safety issue. I don't know what really came of that. But yeah, no, it's still happening. They, they're changing it up entirely, though. Completely new venue. I think they even like hired new staff and stuff to run it. So um, at least I saw something about that on Twitter. So anyways, let me know. If it's in Vegas, you might be able to get a cheap flight. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, Vegas, that's, that sounds like pretty doable for me. I'm just like, I'm in Colorado. Like, that's not too far. So, I don't know. That could be kind of fun. <laughs> uh, am I considering Dead Space 2? I am. I would like to play that one, but it's not like at the top of my list of like urgent games. But I would like to get to that one. Absolutely, yes. I feel like we, we got to get to like the, the PS5 games first for a little bit. And then, and then we'll take a look at some of the older ones too. Huh. Am I talking fast? Also, hi, Los Hunter. Good to see you. Good evening. Welcome. Um, anyways, you guys, I hope you're having a good one. Like I said, my brain's a little, a little sleepy tonight, but we're just taking it easy and uh, just taking down some Thunder Jaws. It's fine. Starving was bad enough, but at least we had our son king to guide us. Oh, this guy. It's you. Hello again. I've brought someone to see your sister. How did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and it's gone. Smart boy. <laughs> She'll have his full attention. Won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions. Excuse yes. me? What does that mean? You better heal her. Or there will be consequences. 
I haven't seen that much bloodshed in the sun ring since Gerard. Where's my schedule? I don't have one posted right now. I can post one though, um, especially for this coming new week. I need to decide. Um, I don't know. My regular schedule right now is approximately Monday through Thursday around 6 or 7 p.m. I was a little bit later tonight. Uh, mountain time, like 9 p.m. Eastern time. She likes and uh, ball games. for she wants to be about a five, four to six hours, I will say. <laughs> I'll make sure I put the post that here on Twitch as well. Hi, Game Rider. Welcome. All right, so it's time for Frozen Wilds DLC, you guys. It's time. Side into the Frozen Wilds. We're going. It's happening. Explore the cut. So we're going past the Grave Horde up here. Fun stuff. So, what did you guys think of this DLC? Was this like a really good addition for the game? Was talking about with Banuk territory just above. I've generally heard really good things, so I am excited. Let's quick save, and then let's change our armor. <laughs> Go. Mm, no, let's go in there with. Uh, let's see. Can I do any better modifications? Resist fire. I feel like I could do something better than that. Resist range attacks, melee attacks, corruption, stealth. Mm. Let's do ranged attacks. I don't know what I'm going to need yet, but let's try that. All right, where do I go from here? We go up. I should have known. Hey, DVG, welcome back. How's it going? The Batgirl outfit for the... It is a disguise, it says. So she's got the whole mask and everything. It's a look. This is a pretty area. There, there's the creepy machine that was attacking everyone. There was a bunch of people, part of Operation Enduring Victory, right? Like fighting that thing, thinking that they had a chance. But no, they're just trying to buy everyone time because they're all dead anyways. <laughs> it got really dark at points yesterday, like, listening to the lore and people's different reactions to basically being told that they're all gonna die, but, like, do you want to help humanity anyways? Here, Here's your options. What are you doing, Eloy? This path leads to the cut. The Banuk have nothing to offer besides useless mysticism. The Eclipse won't stand idle while you waste time playing in the snow. Return to your desk. Oh, he's yelling at me. I was thinking... Banuk shamans thread blue cables through their skin, right? Kind of like someone else we know, huh? So maybe the real reason you want me to stay clear of the Banuk is to stay clear of your past. Oh. It's your past that concerns me, Eloy. Buried in that mountain the Nora deems sacred, huh? not in the ice of the cut. Which is why you should stop prattling and get back to what matters. But as usual, you'll do as you wish. Hmm. Touchy. Will he actually get mad if I go do this first? He doesn't seem happy. Oh, that's interesting. That's unexpected. Has anyone gotten that dialogue before? Didn't even know that's a thing. <laughs> um, I might need to go help the Nora pretty soon then. Um, can't be too prepared. You get more dialogue out of him, so should I just go for it? It seems like he's going to like comment on stuff. Which seems interesting, and like, I don't know if he's going to survive to the end of the game. I have no idea, so like, I don't know if I want to wait that long. Like, even if he does survive, I don't know if he's going to be on the other end of my focus. A new predator. Demonic Scorcher. Yeah, that's, that's new. Okay, uh, woo! 
then I can get a critical hit. But I didn't die. Now it's dead. That's fun, new enemies. Healing supplies. Lucky. Huh. He's never happy. Not a happy guy. No, I think I'm just, yeah, like he said, I'm going to do whatever I want, which means doing this. <laughs> so, it looks like we can maybe go up that way. Is that something? It's over here. stuff. Can't carry more. How can we get up? Probably by not crouching. Oh, that's not how. This is an intense cliff. Okay, go Aloy. Climb on up that mountain. Take a shortcut, you know? Uh, yeah. Looks like there's maybe another way to go over there. Interesting. It's a cool area. Different vibe in the game. Oh, hi. No, not an enemy. Just announcing my arrival. Lovely. <laughs> okay. How do you get that guy's job? Ha. You sure you'll be warm enough up here, Nora? Um, I've worked up a sweat from the climb. <laughs> Should I be in some different armor? We could be in different armor. Let's see. Didn't I have... That's my Nora armor. Let's be in the Banuk Ice Hunter Heavy. Maybe they'll be more impressed. I want to fit in! <laughs> you made it to the cut, Outlander. Hello. Not that you'll stay long. Okay, that's rude. That's cool. Smoke rising from the mountain. In the village, too. What's it for? Investigate the source of the smoke. Okay. Hello. You, you won't talk to me? Okay, that's fine. Hello. No? I do not think that our hunter's blood is on Aratak's hands. He led them to a great challenge. That is all. What? <laughs> Pretty time of day. And I will stand with him. Must be something big going on. Most of the village is moving towards that smoke. Will Aratak order us up to Thunder's drum again? Quite do? literally a cool area. <laughs> Banuka, your favorite tribe in this game. You really like the look of their armor. It's cool, right? I'm excited to learn a little bit more about them. Let's see. Get ready for a rare sight, Nora. Bergrin, purveyor of necessities. Most of the time, the Banuk burn their dead. But not today. Because the bodies couldn't be recovered. Aye, a nasty business. All their best warriors lost. So they're getting a different kind of send off. That's 
cloud. A stormbird whistle, that's cool. Grasp your grief, my hunters, and kill it! For our kin seize the fate all Banuk long for, falling with their spears striking steel. Their struggle is over now. You have witnessed their spirits rise up into the blue sky and beyond to the blue light. But our struggle is only beginning. Soon, we will again take up the hunt against the daemon that frenzies the machines against us. Okay. And so I ask you, can you summon the courage of our fallen kin? Will you fight and die as well as they did? My courage, my spear! Our blood is in your teeth, Oratok! We are Banuk. Our enemies. Our prey. The daemon. That frenzies the machines. So, machines Hades? That wiped out their best. And what do they want to do? Go back up there. Fools. A little advice, uh, for free. Uh... Aloy. Aloy. I've been up here for two long winters, and I still can't make sense of the Banuk. Take this ruckus. It started with one of their shamans, uh, Orea, spouting on about spirits and demons up on Thunder's Drum. So they march their Warwick up there, and half of them get slaughtered by machines. When Aria vanished, I thought the crazy might have gone with her. But no. Here's Big Aritok, gearing them up to do it all over again. What is it about the Banuk you can't make sense of? Mm. Well, everything's a test to them. A hardship to endure. A challenge to survive. Seems like they don't have much of it a It sounds like the author of that one like book this? that we found, yeah. talking about the Banuk. The they tried to live with them, the couldn't handle it. Teeth filled with wild animals you think they'd accept a little reasonably priced aid well, believe me i've tried to convince them but a banuk with nothing left to prove might just lie down and die have you ever heard of a man named silence, silence. tall deadly serious cables in his skin like a shaman uh, i've heard that name once or twice but always whispered like some boogeyman the Banuk want to forget. I'm not sure what went down, but I got the impression he messed with the Conclave. Conclave. Or they messed with him. Conclave. All the most important shamans gather in Banur from time to time to keep up with the latest mumbo-jumbo. No idea how they all fit into one tent without those crazy headdresses getting locked up on each other. Aurea's been to that shindig, but when I asked her what it's like, she just gave me a dirty look. So if you want to know more, you'll have to find her and make her like you, I guess. <laughs> Good luck. And Orea is the one who okay. spoke about this daemon? That's right. Told Aratok and the others that it lives up on Thunder's Drum. And they believed her. But you Quite don't. a volcano. I don't know if it's supposed to be flickering that much, but it's fine. I don't know what Aurea found up there. A shaman's not going to talk to an outlander. The machines in the cut are getting more vicious, that's a fact. 
It could be because of the daemon, or it could be because they all got indigestion, for all I know. But Araya's not around to explain. She took off, and no one knows why. Is Aratak a renowned warrior around here? He's a wary chieftain. His voice carries a lot of respect. Not that you hear much of it. Man talks about as much as a dead fish. But when he and Araya came to town with their Warwick, it drew more Banuk to this little burg than I'd ever seen. Know what else I saw, Aloy? My own little trade boot, stretching all the way back to the claim. Then, he goes and leads them off to their death at the claws of angry machines. <laughs> So much for my best customers. <laughs> you said you've lived here is a family ah, unit. I remember them back saying. home. Some fur traders told me about this steel forsaken heap of tents. Good location, ripe for change. We were barely scraping by until this place started filling up for Araya. A great prophet is coming, they said. Ah, I heard prophet. Honest mistake. Not that the Banook are stingy, they just prefer to keep trade among themselves. If we could get through to enough of them, we could really put this place on the map. Or at least on a map. We? Me and my daughter. Mm, my oh. assistant, Varja. My assistant and okay. my daughter. We seem to get along better as business partners. <laughs> her mother wanted me to show her a trick. <coughs> she started tinkering with weapons. Say, when you need a break from this Banuk carry-on, stop in and see her. You're both, uh, mm, how do I put it? Uh, Women? No, 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 what? no, no, <laughs> independent. Look for her at Long Notch, <laughs> the easternmost Banuk camp. Okay. I want to know more about this daemon. Mm -mm. It's crazy talk, Aloy. Or there's something to it. Something connected to how the machines behave. Then you need to find Aurea. She was last Let's seen headed find for Aurea. the mountains they call the Ice Rafts. <sighs> I've heard rests. only the shamans know the trail beyond those frozen peaks. Mm. But I do know where you could find her apprentice, Naltuk. He went north of the river, chasing rumors. Rumors? Not the good kind. Sudden attacks in the snow. Strange new structures. Some say a new machine, like no one's seen before. Well, now I'm definitely interested. Thanks for the talk, Burgrind. Don't mention it. I wonder if Aratok could tell me more about Araya or Thunderstrum. As you venture south. Might be worth a shot. All I do right, not let's want see. to hear this talk from you again. Doubt is heavier than a week's snow. Forgive me, my chieftain. We will be ready for the next attempt. But this will not be an attempt. It must be done. Do you understand? My chieftain. Good. Outlander, I suppose you wish to speak. Um, yeah. This Tell me about the thing. thing you talked about. If you are hardy enough, you can venture out and see the signs yourself. It has changed the machines. Made them fiercer, stronger. But what is it? This voice sounds familiar. A matter for the shamans to debate. Aurea knows about this daemon. Where would I talk to her? She does a shaman's work. That is not for the eyes and ears of others. Certainly not in Outlanders. Okay. There are other Werax in Song's Edge too? Yes. The village has its own lie for all Banuk who need trade or shelter. After the war ended, it sprang up from what was once a campsite, quick as the bloom between frosts. Perhaps it will last until the Karja seek war again. You're set on going back to the mountain? I have put my word to it. Even with the risks being so great? The risk of what? Death? It would be a worse fate to bow our heads to the challenge and say too much. Okay. Did your Warwick come from this place? No, we rallied most of our hunters from across Banyur to face the threat of the demon. But I was born here and stayed to fight the Karja when others retreated into the mountains. A few of my old warriors remain with me, those who survived. Well, 
I guess okay. that's it then. Good talk. Good. Prefer deeds to words. I can tell. Right. <laughs> Looks like we got a side quest. I'm off to your scale pledgers. This is a cool area. Hi, Geek Boy. Welcome back. Aloy the Amazing. She really is. Ooh. Blue Gleam. And I can get some cooler weapons. Okay. Power Shot Bow. Fun. Gonna have to get that stuff. Let's sell some random things here. Like, what do I have a ton of duplicates of? Luminous Braiding. I have quite a few of those. I'm gonna sell a stack. Um, these are all different. Desert Glass. Definitely don't need any of this. I don't think I need any of it, do I? Let's do that. I can buy a map. Oh, wait. Everything in the Frozen West is a side quest. I mean, that's fair. Only the main game has main quests. Well, just extra side quests. Side quests within side quests. It's good. <laughs> buy a map that shows me where a blue gleam is. Okay, let's see. What do they have? Slow health recovery over time. That's interesting. Oh, I just sold all my desert glass. Okay, that's that sounds about right. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need that. Um, I will go for one of these, though, for sure. Um, free sample. Blue gleam. I need goat and badger bone. Goat skin, badger bone. And then I need a goat bone. And badger bone. Okay. Well, I'll have to get some of those. Got some hunting to do, I guess. You seem sad, stranger. I heard you mention a flood. Yes. A sudden deluge, without rain or melt to explain it. I'm Lao Lai, the drummer of Deep Din. Or at least I was, until it disappeared under the waters. Deep Din. What's that? A hollow, carved out by the old ones. A chamber, a basin, and a musical instrument all at once. My life, my calling. I'd explain it by playing for you if I could. But its pipes are deep under the water now. So yeah, what? Deep Din <laughs> is a place and a musical instrument. Sounds fun. Yes. Pipes that carry a perfect tone beneath a sonorous basin. A wondrous edifice the old ones used to carry music far and wide. During the war, my father played the pipes to rally the Banuk against the Karja. I'm the drummer now. But our battles are few and far between. Mostly I play for the joy of it. Or to remember my family. Of course, if the waters don't recede, what's the point of joy? Or remembering. Hmm. So the waters came fast. One day it was dry. The next, the nearby river had risen and the entire basin was flooded. Okay, what caused it. that? There was no rain, not even any clouds, and yet the river rose higher than like I a had dam ever break seen. or something? Hmm. And there it remains. A flood without rain. That is strange. Where is this place? I'll have a look if I'm in the area. Just northwest of here. Look all you like, but I don't see what good it'll do. The floodwaters aren't going anywhere. How does one ask a river to relent? Interesting. No more music. Blood sound of that. Oh, she's so sad about her music. I'll try to help. Wise to step into the footprints of hunters and watch before them. Alright, let's check out this new area. Okay. I want to learn more about how this daemon affects the machines. I've got to find Araya. I'll come back for that side quest in a bit. I mean... The river north. Apprentice who followed the river north. Hang on. I might as well pick it up. Outlander, wait. Wait a moment. The 
that weapon of yours, Outlander, that spear, I can see the blue light upon it. You're not the first to take an interest in it. I've made it myself. Your own design? Mm. Yet you are not a shaman. Uh, no. More of a tinker? A tinker does not understand the spark in the metal, the song in the metal like this. But it could be improved upon, modified with the help of the old ones. Hmm. Far north of here, there is a cave, a shaft in the snow. Within it is a nest of metal birds. Find a bird that hasn't been stripped by shaman's past. Look for a rail inside it, the length of your spear. That's all I can tell you. Get a rail from some metal birds in a cave. Sounds okay. perfectly normal. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I love her responses. I could what still kneel and kill all of myself if you weren't hiding behind this crew of cutthroats. What is this? Are I they dying they things? Huh. Okay. Any news from the hunt? The herd isn't roaming far from the camp. They're keeping together this time. Then we wait. But I bet we'll see a stray. All right, I'll keep watch tonight. Okay. Extra div, welcome on in. How's it going? Good to see you. Oh, I can't buy things back. Okay, that's fair. Um, the DLC has the best NPCs in the game, you think? Okay, I'm excited. The DLC has its own main story quests. Yeah, it's not just some extra bits. It's a whole new area complete with side quests, errands. I like that. Makes it feel alive. You know, like it all adds to the sense that like that guy said. They just kind of sprang up out of nowhere. Oh, I missed. Goat, I'm sorry. I need your, your pelt and your bones. And you didn't give me either of those. Okay. Well... That's all right. The Osaram guard will be blaming their shadows for their mistakes. Guard outlanders. Huh. Anyone to talk to here? No. Hello. Could go for a drink. And eat. Pretty area. Said I feel like. I feel like they did improve the graphic quality slightly. I don't know. I just think it looks nice. Bunch of goats over here. Let's get another one. Oh, a squirrel! Oh, wait. I didn't. It didn't say that I needed a squirrel, so I won't do that. <laughs> we'll hunt as we go. Is this Yellowstone? It kind of looked like it with the pools. It might be. That must be Natuk looking out of that tower. It looks like it's sending a pulse or signal. <laughs> Naltuk? Who are you? How did you find me? Bergrind told me you'd be out here. He's persistent. I've told that Asaram a thousand times. I don't need to buy anything. And I'm not selling. I just need to find Araya. Well, you won't. She's gone where only shamans can tread. Hmm. She seeks guidance from the voice in the blue light. That is her task. The blue light. And the task she gave me is to observe the daemon's work. To stop it spreading, if I can. What can I do about these towers? In only a few weeks, they've sprouted throughout the cut. The daemon's energy pulses from them. Hmm. Rallies the machines, even repairs them. Aratok said this daemon was frenzying machines? Look there. Those with the purple markings. They belong to the daemon. They're stronger, more dangerous. I've seen something like this before. A corruption. But it wasn't from your daemon. You have? Then you know more than I do. Are these towers, were they part of your corruption? No. no. Those are new to me, too. Like I said, they empower the daemon's machines. They must be stopped. Okay. 
Will you tell me where Aurea went? You ask a lot of questions. Only when I'm not getting the answers I need? There's but one voice Aurea wants to hear right now, and it isn't yours. I'm sorry. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> um, it is supposed to be Yellowstone. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize. Beef, welcome on in. How's it going? I've been cross-country skiing in Yellowstone. Whoa, and you found buffalo right there? Oh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> All right, you want to stop the spread of the daemon's work? I know See, how to we got to bring back the buffalo my to this world. And spear. Outlander, wait. Won't you tell me your name? Aloy. Good. If you fall to the daemon's machines, at least I can properly recount your efforts to Araya. Thanks for the vote of confidence. But I won't fall. And when I'm done, you're going to tell me where she is. Okay, destroy or override the tower. I feel like overriding the tower might be kind of more interesting. Let's see. Oh, I meant to go up there. That's fine. Should I just run up to it? I can. I might get my butt kicked. Yeah. override it. You. Thank you, Slander. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm following the law. Huh. Should I have destroyed it? I don't know. Maybe we can use it for something good. Played the DLC only after reaching max level. I mean, that's fair. We're almost there. Like, we're we're almost to level forty-nine. Close. We should speak. Seems I can take care of the machines and towers. The daemon's next. You claimed its power for yourself somehow. Perhaps Aurea should meet you after all. But what she truly seeks is hope. After what I just saw, you could show her that. She's in retreat beyond those mountains, the ice rasps. You'll have to walk the shaman's path to get there. You'll know you've reached the end when you come to a shrine, a great machine covered in blue gleam. Shamans who complete the path take a piece of it as reward. If you make it that far, you should too. You'll have earned it. Okay. Bergen told me you're Araya's apprentice. In her absence, I serve the chieftain and his Werak as an advisor, a scout, a speaker for the blue light. A lot of responsibilities. I don't know if I can live up to Aurea's example, but I have to try. I owe her that much. She took a chance on me, an aspiring shaman from the edge of the world. No one else would. Hmm. You said something about blue gleam at the end of the shaman's path? A crystal that builds on the bodies of machines in the oldest ice. We Banuk believe it's the stuff of the blue light, frozen as it escapes their shells. You might be more interested that merchants will trade well for it. Were you with Aurea when they attacked the mountain? I wish I had been, even with all that happened. I'm no warrior, though, so she bid me wait. When Aurea and the chieftain returned, I saw them argue bitterly. I don't know what about exactly. 
Then she came to me, gave me my task, and left us. How do I cross this shaman's path? Go to the ice rasps. Then follow the markers through the ice caves and the waterfalls, and make the climb to the shrine. But be careful. The path is meant to be an ordeal, the final trial of a young shaman's training. And I'll find Araya at the end of it? No. She goes further up, somewhere inside the mountain. Hmm. If you see her, would you tell her... I have faith she will hear the voice again. Let's go find right. it. I guess I'm off to the ice rasps to find this shaman's path. So... Go to the lake. Let's do that quest first. So this is one of our side quests. Aloy investigates the source of a sudden deluge spilling into the valley. So this is the flood that we'll go check out first since we're over here. Who's <laughs> left at the guard line? Of course you know me, right? I'm the Thane, Archmage, Listener, Dragonborn, Guildmaster, Harbinger. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, what, what What else? I always love that when you go to adopt a kid in Skyrim and you can like say, she like asks what you do for work or like it just asks what you do and you can like tell her, you know, I'm the Dragonborn, I'm the Archmage. I'm, I always like to hit her with the Archmage. So I was like, oh, okay. Hi NPC, welcome back. Stream's going good today so far. We've just gotten started in the this Frozen Wilds DLC. I was talking about deep in, flooded too, like she said. Snap moss. Follow the river. Follow the river. Seems like enough. Must be the entrance to this den. All right, let's follow the river here. So you can come back and fight those guys if we need. We're not sure we will need to yet. <laughs> you also get to the Cloud District very often. I wish we could tell Nazim that. These mountains must be the ice rasps. The shaman's path begins somewhere up above. Okay. We're kind of doing both quests at once. Something wants to fight me way back there. And there's a merchant nearby. I could get my free sample, I guess, but that's it. Nothing to see here. That's all I can really buy for now. So I can go up and do that quest. No, let's let's keep doing, following the river for a moment. So what are we gonna find? It's having us go up a ways. We're gonna find a broken dam or something up here. Yeah. Where are we? What landmark is this? That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something the old one's built. Mm-hmm. Where are we supposed to be? Is it supposed to be like Hoover Dam or something? Oh, let's grab that and quick save. Interesting area. Quite a bit harder than the main game. Yes, they I do increase the difficulty in. a tad. Really blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Let's go. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the din? Oh, okay. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? What's that secret show? Ah, it's okay. Like, how do we want to start this group?
Okay. Remember to stay hydrated. Why, thank you, Garrus. Thanks, Lyra. You did the DLC early in your playthrough. The OP weapons come in handy for the rest of the game. I bet. Like, if you can make it through, it will reward you. That's a fair point. It's not supposed to be any damn in particular. Okay. Built in our future. Oh. Okay. So just generic large dam. Understood. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Looks like most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? Hmm. Okay. So, got a door here and a lock. Interface. The lock positions. Helpful. Um, we're missing one though. That's, that's less helpful. Is there something over here in this door? Someone's been through here. Not that long ago. I've become trapped somehow. Okay. Do you have the piece that I need? Please give it to me. Oh. Hello. All right. <laughs> You don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone. He's cold. like, yay, I'm but not nope. dead. Nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. <laughs> When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's its from the wall beside the door. No luck. No, we So I had to back. go with that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... Flood. So ah. I push the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. So this guy came and messed smoke. everything up. Awesome. Now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. Oh. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come to the present moment. Thank you for messing it all up. Thanks. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it. Staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses that's in the storage room. Oh, yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long. I, yes, this time I'm sure I have. Okay. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Oh, wow. Four Perfect. hands. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> uh... Together, that ring is as good as ours, and with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. Indeed. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. <laughs> quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also, quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. 
That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. I sure hope so. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can drive okay, this place Okay, that's why out. he's saying that. I guess that. we better okay. get started, then. I guess we better. The floaters. No way I'd be able to swim. Up ahead, yeah, girl. Yeah, that See wouldn't go very well. Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would on you mind heading side? across and uh, <laughs> doing the honors? Oh, okay. Find a path to the other side. Um, up. Let the me other see. valve is just across <laughs> the edge. Raging flood. Wars. Yeah, thank you for that. Mm hmm. You know, I'm reminded of a delve I undertook out near the plane. <laughs> this guy likes to talk, doesn't he? Oh. Accidentally stab him with a spear. You know, uh... No, it's okay. We need the stuff, and it sounds like we need his help to get it. Above stagnant water. Charming. Mm-hmm. You don't suppose... Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin! On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving! There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are. Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. All right. Nice. And we can get our thing. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? Hopefully. To the second gate! Hmm, that's a lot of water, isn't it? A ladder uh, is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and uh, no further. Do I need to go, like, this way? Let me see. Atmosphere, welcome on in. Happy belated Valentine's Day. Do you feel? We had a fun so one here. We were playing so Dead Space! Woo! Oh no! Um. Can I, can I do anything now? Jump over there, I guess. Alright, here we go! Wee! Oh! You can't swim against it. Okay, that did not work. Let's try that again. Ah! Okay, let's make sure we're actually sprinting. Nice Ooh. jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety. Thanks, I think. Yeah, thanks. Did I get the thing over there? Ready? One, two, three, four! Come on, sell out and run away, Cal! Oh, no, no, let's see her! I forgot the words. Yeah. Chill, we started off so strong and they're not. Are they making a band? Now we need to go to the other now side. Oh, before. this guy doesn't want to do anything. Should be as easy as falling down a hole. If you take the valve on the other uh, side, it's not the same way on this side. I should look for an access tunnel. Okay, let's let's see. This, this is my sort of delve. Found a little problem to solve. <laughs> Oh, 
This guy. I even explained what a ladder is. Yeah, see, you should have stabbed him just for fun. <laughs> maybe he would be less cooperative then. But maybe he would have stopped talking. So, that's that's fair. Ooh! Anything back here? Nope. Uh-huh, Gildan. <laughs> uh, let go, please? Right? Okay. Mmm, yummy water. Did I need to go the other way? Yeah. No, 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 no. Please. Not that way. This way. I'll tuck that away. Okay, Gildan, turn the valve! Yeah, it's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Um, what? Look for the counterweight. What? Is it this thing? What am I looking for? I guess I go up here? Oh, maybe not there. Look for the counterweight. It's this thing, right? Or or is it Looks that? Like part of the counterweight broke off. If I there can we get go. Up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I need to get up higher. I'd climb up I need that to... package. That's pretty much Ooh. what I do. Okay. I guess we can just hang out here. Yeah. Is this not working? Is it not working? What does it want me to do? Jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher. Get above the top. Oh. Oh. I see. I'm getting on that via that thing. Okay. Understood. All right. He's like, no, you're gonna die. Controlled falling. Going down. Frozen Wild is cool so far. Welcome on in, Bad Astronomer. I like the graphics a lot. I feel like it's really pretty. Like the snow does not look the same as like the base game snow. It's it's quite gorgeous. Cool like Yellowstone area too. Interesting lore. Excited to learn more about the Banook and the shamans. We can make it. Let's see another one of those mad leaps. Yep, there it is. Got it. We're good to go. You were a sight to see. Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap. <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap maw! Oh, a snap maw. Snap maw! Very, How do I get down? Very big snap maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big. How do very, I get down? Very big. Just stay out of the way. Here we go. Uh, how do I get down? I guess through here. No. How do I get down there? <laughs> I don't want to die. I feel like I would definitely die if I just jump off of that. Maybe if I go across? No. Okay, I think I have to go like all the way back. What new machines have I encountered so far? Mostly just like the... Oh, let's go up. Please up. 
Oh, what was it? The demon ones? Let's see, is it in my notebook? Machine catalog. Here we go. Yeah, the, the Scorchers. I found the Scorchers. And I found the Corrupted Tower thing. That's a fair amount of backtracking they had me do. I didn't think they were going to do that. Never mind. I'm so excited for Forbidden West. We'll probably start that uh, next week. I'm so excited. So we're going to start with Forbidden West, and then we're also going to start The Last of Us Part 1. Also excited for that. What's in here? We drained enough water for what we need to do, but I wonder if I can empty out the whole dam. Hmm. Forge, forgive me. What did that snap on? So many con components. Quite nice. Dead? Just tell me when it's dead, would you? It's dead. You were right. This thing did swallow the ring. So, oh, it did. Uh, okay. Uh, Level 49. Killed in intuition and action. Never led me astray. Sure, its chosen roots can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage yes. room. Okay. To the spoils. To the spoils, for sure. Well, let's see what we can find. So, yeah, it looks like we can keep going down even further here. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Let's take a quick look. Perhaps, sure, are a lot of. All right, time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this. Valves 101. Okay. Yo, Shelly, I'm trapped in a servitor hell over here. Got in this morning, and as usual, that one half-baked chrome dolt was bumping up against the locked entry door in the reservoir room, moaning about requiring entry to the totality of the facility. Between its robot voice and those weird grindy sounds its limb makes, its limbs make, the acoustics reminded of me of a track from one of the less accessible German post-punk bands. I've told them and told them, every night the pipe network decouples so that the reservoir can refill, and every morning it has to be reset manually. All you have to do is turn the valve thingy so that the water flows directly to the pump. The rest of the servitors seem to get it, but this guy won't stop bugging out. I mean, I know we're supposed to be on-site advisors, but this is getting ridiculous. Do I have to scratch the instructions into their stupid shiny faces? As a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got okay. This. Music to my ears. To each job, it's proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. Oh, I see how this has got to go. Okay, so like that. Then it's going to go over there. That one's broken, so it doesn't look like we can use that one. That's not quite right. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I guess it has to be that way. And then this one. Uh, no, it can't go that way, though. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. <laughs> no, indeed. Not old Gildan. Uh. If I turn it that way, then it goes here. Yes, more like that. And then go this way. Maybe like that? Alright. Nope, other way. Demands a certain degree of patience, doesn't it? It does, you know. I inherited my mother's restlessness. Okay, and that brings us to this pipe. We just need to turn this pipe that way. Yeah, 
Got it working, did you? <laughs> of course you did. Never met a conundrum you couldn't run <coughs> conundrum, have you? Guess it's sealed because my hype man. <laughs> oh. This is a cool sub story. Make sure you drain the whole dam. There's something to find if you do. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else down there? I'm assuming it's going to be up here. Or in a different area, at least. Oh, okay. Ouch. Look at that! Drain this place drainage pipes lead into another Could be room. that this old ruin is hiding mm -hmm. a few more secrets down below. Of course, that storage room still awaits our perusal. Yes, we'll get there. Okay, what? She said something about a cave? What? Oh. Stinks down here. Drummer's weapon coil. You know what is that? Smells like a Looks like that's a morning flame. That sounds cool. Hang on. What is that? Ooh, look at that! Freeze shock and corruption in one. Nice. I'll have to put that on something that would benefit the most from that. Hmm. Compensatory damages. Check this out. We could just bang on this pipe, you know. And... Could we sample that or for their totally. <laughs> like what about after? Oh, sorry, just a sec. What? There's something else to find. Is that it, maybe? Special weapons coil. Okay, that should be it. Let's head back up. Mm. Let's go. Special weapons coil. We like it. It's nice they gave you some, some good stuff in this DLC. Fun to use. I'm excited for the new weapons. I'll have to decide which one I want first. Uh, okay, gotta go around. This area right here is kind of reminding me of some of the areas in Stray. You know, cute cat game? I don't know, just all those pipes and stuff. That was a great game. I'll have to play that one again sometime. Try to get all the achievements or something. I can't wait, I can't wait! This guy is hyped. Almost there! Yeah, almost there. Soon I'll hold the looking glass in my hand. Just like that. Uh, what, um... What are you doing with your hands there, girl? It's... <laughs> Uh, opening the door? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. <sighs> I mean, this is it. We had to play together, what, maybe two Where more is times? It? And, ah, Where did it go? Space. Space. Okay. Power cell. Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Not two delves in a row. Gildan? What? 
Everything okay? Two in a row? I'm so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I was... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Uh, by the Great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Yes, we do. Oh, poor guy. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> What does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ha! You oh. are a wonder! <laughs> do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. Ha! It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. That's nice. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? <sighs> Overflow Basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. Maybe I'll take Let's a look. Let's go take a look. Another adventure. So Farewell, so Gildan. Oh, you're braver than me. But there was no question of that. <laughs> Anything else in here? Nope. Time to go. I hope we see him again. Uh, is this the way out? Let's go back here, and then we will do... Oh, no, let's go back to the basin. Sounds getting louder. Did I get the legendary armor from the main game? No, the one that makes you get all the power cells and stuff? I don't have it yet. We'll be getting it, but I didn't get the one... That you could get, I guess, at the beginning of the game, so now I have to get it at the end of the game. So, we'll see. We will see. Um, what's this about Horizon multiplayer? That'd be cool. And Horizon TV show? What? What? <laughs> what are those noises? Never know when I might need these. She wasn't kidding about the sound. Yeah, it makes some noise. That's kind of fun. Okay. 
Can we? Can uh, what? Ah! 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 Ooh! That's a lot of snap ma. No, oh, give me the critical hit. Thank you. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> ah! Okay, where's the freeze resistance? Holy moly. I don't know what to do. It's okay. We got this. Also, like an option. You could also try that. You could. You could consider it. Yeah. Nope, please literally climb off of the ladder. Holy moly, Aloy. Thank you. Time to go. Time to move. Final performance. Live from the illustrious Overflow Basin Studios, it's Concrete Beach Party! A one, a two, Let's a hear. one, two, three, four! Good, good, good try? Okay. I like it. <laughs> Aloy, are you dancing? He's like, no, I would never. I'm very serious, but business only. Get trapped in server to hell. It's a good song. Ten out of ten. <laughs> Gas is welcome on in. It's one of the best parts of the game. It's a good one. <laughs> Sounds a little bit, yes, like the band from Cyberpunk 2077. You're, you're right, Los Hunter. That's funny. Um, hello. Wait, I wanted to see what this was. Dear nobody, the auto cars are on their way. Mine will take me to my apartment in Cody. Hers will take her to the Vertiport. She brought her luggage with her to, to work today. Everything she owns packed into two little suitcases. She's wearing the fanciest outfit I've ever seen her in. It's for mom, she said. She bought me this outfit, if you can believe it. Normally, like, who cares, but I don't know. She's already dealing with a lot. We walked through the dam today, listened to all these tapes, read all these messages, and maybe this is one of those sign my yearbook, we'll never lose touch things. But I'm not scared of losing Laura anymore. We're a family. We didn't inherit each other or settle on each other. We chose each other. No amount of distance, no number of jerks in bad suits or obsequious robots are going to tear us apart. So listen, on the off chance that someone ever actually does stumble onto these things, here's the, here's the truth. There was this band called Concrete Beach Party, and for a second, it was the best band in the world. 
And you, whoever you are, are really, really lucky because you're the only person who ever got to hear them. See you never, the last girls on Earth. Aww. That's cute. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Hmm. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Achievement unlocked. Drained the flood. Anything else to find in here? Blue gleam. Rare and valuable resource. Yes. We will leave her to her music. See, that's why we need to help bring Apollo back. I don't know what happened to it, though. That's the question. Okay, what if I go up here? Uh, I might as well just climb out. We'll go up here and we'll check out the Shaman's Path for today. Looks like there's going to be a fair amount of content. I'm excited. No, do not need to use that. I mostly need the other animals now. What was it, like a bull? No, not a boar. Needed like a goat and a badger. That was it. Oh, I hear a goat. Calm, calm. Oh, and I see a thing. Ah, as the waters recede, the people return. Singapore. May 5th, 2043. Oh, look at that. It's my birthday. A large pink-tinted rock marks the summit of Bucket Tima Hill, Singapore's highest point, at one time 164 meters above sea level. Charmaine Lowe records a self-hollow next to the rock, her bright smile contradicted by nervous fidgeting with her prismatic fake nails and 30-style subdermal jewelry. I thought I'd never see this place again. I still can't believe it's real, she marvels. Proud Bucket Tima has stood firm against time and weather, but the rest of Singapore has fared less well. With approximately a third of the island nation at less than five meters above sea level, Singaporeans like Charmaine were forced to abandon their homes as inexorable waters leached away their foundations throughout the Snoring Twenties. The Snoring Twenties, oh no. Now the surviving members of Charmaine's family are returning alongside many others. As global temperatures and sea levels stabilize, people come by air or by water. Some seek refuge from the deleterious effects of the Sitarim River tragedy, whose costs still reverberate today. All hope to build new lives atop the collapse of the once stable and prosperous country. Singapore represents one of the many states abandoned by their citizens in the aftermath of heavy coastal flooding. Questions surrounding ownership are difficult to answer. Government and law enforcement personnel fled far in advance of the country's devastation, and documentation of title is scattered at best. The plot of land on which Charmaine's childhood home once sat had belonged to the Lowe family for almost a... There goes our data. And I got three, three blue gleam. Oh, for doing that quest. Okay, awesome. So it gives me some blue gleam for doing some random things. I like that. Wait, I know you Hello, Bowmans. I know you. No, I'm following the law today. All is well. Law abiding, Aloy. I have also. <laughs> I saw you turn that one up. That's such a good one. <laughs> Just water tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Bowmans. Good to see you. Oh, I can't wait to see how all of this story ties in with Forbidden West. That's really what I'm excited about, because it's very clear that they're setting this up for a sequel.
All right, let's go to the shaman's path and see what voice she's talking to in the blue and stuff. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, you can buy the bows with the blue gleams. Cool. I'll have to decide which one I want first. Excited the sequel gets a DLC in April as well. We should probably be finished by the game or finished with the game by then. Um, and if we are, we'll just go back and play the DLC for a bit. Up we go. Hmm. Alright, we're going up the mountain. It's quite a path. I like it. It's kind of reminding me of the path to High Hrothgar in Skyrim, but like way more HD and with a way cooler volcano mountain. And save again, please. Forbidden West is a lot, I'm sure. Nothing like a stay-at-home vacation to mess with the night shift or sleep schedule. Oh, I bet. <laughs> Apparently, this time the DLC takes place after. Okay, so I will want to finish it first. Okay, perfect. Well, that would be great up. timing. The shaman's path must be around here. This must be one of the markers that Tuke told me about. Activate the marker? Okay. Looks like each marker points to another, giving directions. Oh, huh, that's cool. Guess I'm heading deeper it's kind of like old creepy ice cave. It's a, it's giving me Meridia's quest vibes. You know, the beacon. You gotta guide the the light through the temple. Similar vibes. What's this chime for? To help guide the way with sound. If there's more, maybe my focus can find them. Yep. Something is focus over there. Pick up the chimes. Should help me find my way. Okay, so that way, not this way. But was there anything to find over here? Yes. Wrong way. But is it the wrong way if it's the way that I'm intending? Hmm. Was that something else? Yes. That but at least there's stuff. At least there's stuff. That's our motto. <laughs> Activate the marker. I never stop playing Dead Space. Oh no. That would be terrifying. <laughs> Wait. Here we go. And that way. Another marker. Good. Kind of a creepy cave. I would expect there to be like some animals in here, like at least some spiders, you know? like that's the way I'm supposed to go. Sure. I don't need the extra random random little things about. Not this way. Nope, not this way. Um, where? Huh. I see. Oh. Up. What is that? Stalkers? Okay. okay. I guess she just snuck okay. past them all. Fair enough. Quiet. 
quite a long path. This isn't the way out. Some gear, though. Got a little charm. That way. Oh. Oh, I almost got the silent strike. I I missed it though. Shoot. Uh oh, I don't have a bow with fire arrows on it, or do I? Freeze arrows, shock arrows. Those don't seem to be working. Okay, not working. <sighs> Both of them? That'd be cool. Bam. Nice. Hopefully no more. There was one back there, but he didn't see me. So I didn't see him. Am I playing on console? No, I'm playing on PC, but I am using a PlayStation controller. Welcome, gaming bear. Pretty area. So what's next on this path? I like how detailed it is off in the distance. It's really nice. Oh, Ayla looks cold. Ayla, aren't you in your... Yeah, we're literally in the Ice Hunter heavy gear, so if you're not warm enough, warm enough in this, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sure I wouldn't be warm enough in it, so I can't blame her. <laughs> Oh, he's cold. Looks like it needs to fill up with water after I can cross. Whee! <laughs> That's kind of fun. <laughs> now the bend we go. Uh, cool areas they one. designed. Then up, I guess. There's the way up. Here we go. All the way. I need to pull the rope to move this thing into position. Okay, the bridge is filling up. Okay. Oh, and then I go back. I'm gonna do this the safe way. I might be able to just drop over there or jump over there. I think I'll do this. There we go, made it all over and across. For now. We've got another one. Let's see if I can launch myself off of it. <laughs> This way, okay. Oh. No. Can I go this way first? Okay, getting a lot snowier, a lot colder. Are we going down? Come on. Whoo! going. I think this is the way. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, here we 
we go. Oh, what is that? Bergen wasn't exaggerating. There's definitely something new out here. And I don't think it's friendly. No. Where did it go? Oh, can't wait until we get to encounter that thing. Who resets the trail after somebody goes down it? You know, I was wondering that too. I'm like, this lady made it all the way up here? Okay, I guess. We're not the only competent one in this world. No, that's not a good sign. Am I gonna need to, like, help her? Hmm. Got another one of the towers. Okay. on I'm going to use fire arrows then right I don't know that seems like that would be logical and yeah let me come here handling fire damage shock tear is good but what about like instead of this one Modification inventory is full. Ooh. How many green ones? How about that? Okay. Now hang on. Okay. Well, you know what? No. No. Um. No. Modify. I'm going to take this off. We're going to clear that. And then we're going to put on the super good coil that I got. Just kidding. I apparently can't do that. So I'll put this one. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, fire arrow time. Where is that frost claw? I guess we're doing this big boy. We have a cat on the desk. Hang on. No, buddy. You can't you can't be here. You're very cute. Say hello. Ooh. He's like, oh no. Good. 
Oh no, that's not good. I shouldn't have hit it again. Okay. Noted. When you hit him again with the bomb, they get up. That's unfortunate. Uh, he has literally all of his health left. Like, I've done nothing. What do I... Oh. Like, come on, components, please break off. Oh my god. Like body slammed. I think I might need to just get up there and override the thing. Oh, he's healing. He's healing. Oh, the tower is healing him. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, understood. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to. Oh, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't know how I'm supposed to override the tower first. I guess like that. Quickly, quickly, quickly! Oh, he's so gonna hit me before this is done. See, he's already up, he's already up, he's already up, he's already up. No, we're so close! <gasps> I did it! It's okay then. Let's see if this thing can work for me. There we go, much better, much better. Moving more components, it's good. And another critical hit. Okay, the bombs are working. I like how it like it freezes itself on accident when you hit it. Ooh, right in the face. Oopsie. Okay, all is well. And we just reached level 50 according to the achievement that I just unlocked. There it is. Th there. Which means better climb. Max level, you guys. That's exciting. Okay, what are we doing now? Yeah, the shrine, of course. That's what we're here for. <sighs> yeah, so it turns out you kill that thing after after you override the tower. You just gotta knock it down first. Damn. Quite a path. I guess the other lady just snuck past that thing. Said, not my problem. Don't know why she did that, but I guess she had more important things to do. Don't know what's more important than that, but fair enough. Like, you're just gonna have to sneak pack past it on your way back anyways. Pretty lighting. Ooh! Okay, and we need to go up here. How? Uh, here. <laughs> Always impressed by Aloy's climbing. I'm not not much of a climber. Never been a rock this wall person. The shrine Nell Tuke was talking about. Guess I should take the blue gleam. Absolutely. Let's see why it's worth a lot. Pretty. I think that might have been worse than the giant bear in Elden Ring. Yeah. I feel a little bit better equipped as Aloy, though. I have been actually thinking about going back to Elden Ring a little bit. 
Missed all the fun trying to do that at level 30. <laughs> yeah. Into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. I'm sure it would help you level up fast, though. So there's that. If I played through again, I'd probably come here a lot sooner. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea is inside. What is this place? Aurea's retreat. March 10th, 2046. I just spent 16 hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough on my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. <laughs> oh boy. I should just go to bed. The bear is Dio in 1,000 years. Absolutely, yes. That is his spirit animal. <laughs> yes. That is the essence of Dio. And yes, what he will turn into. If he was an immortal being, That's that would be him. Equipment. What was this place? Yeah, where are we? Huh. Maybe like... Hmm. This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people mm -hmm. in SLC. Oh my. Okay. Were they working on Gaia here, maybe? They might have been. Sounds like it. Firebreak is doomed without a guiding intelligence advanced enough not only to think but to feel. Well, Gaia can think and feel. We did learn that. So I'm happy that we do have the information that we have coming out. Maybe my focus can help. Looks like the door's wired to something over here. Investigate the source node. Okay. Oh, didn't even see this back here. Okay. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Okay, these are short ones. The door again. Okay, I've been hearing that some of our staff members are having trouble with our state-of-the-art, ultra-secure, and absolutely necessary lambent or orbicular door access. So here's the slow version again. The thingy in the middle is the source node. Turn it on. Yeah, I know. Hard right. Hard, right? Then you've got to turn the other nodes so that the data stream containing your credentials gets back to the source. Some nodes are used to buffer corrupt or suspect data, so avoid those. Shouldn't be too tough because, you know, they're red, like a stop sign. I'm guessing you were taught this in preschool, but with this crowd, who knows? Anyway, that's it. Get the data stream back to the source and the door opens. It's really not that tough, but if you need me to, I'll hold your hand while you give it a try. Actually, scratch that. Do it yourself. I'm not going to touch your hand. Sounds like that's something we're going to need to do. Where the heck is Araya? She's just those nodes on the floor must like be in connected here? to the door. What am I supposed to do with these lights? The same thing as like with the dam. Changing the flow of light. Oof. Other way. Oh. 
All right. Let's see if the door's open. That one was easy. I guess Aurea just knows how to do that. Fair enough. Back through the sneaky tunnel. Run, run, run. And let's see what's through this door. What are we gonna find out in this facility? I wonder. Odie, welcome! I did just finish Dead Space. Amazing. Uh, the finale stuff will be posting onto YouTube if you don't want to watch it here on Twitch or anything. Um, it'll be slightly edited down. I have that scheduled to post, I think, later this week. The last two... I think it's going to be the last stream. I think I split it into part two. Or into two parts. So, anyways. Dead Space was amazing. Highly recommend. What an ending. <laughs> Uh, we going up? Up where? Up here, it looks like. How do we even hold on to this? This is a terrifying wall. Did I watch the alternative ending? No, so I haven't looked anything up for Dead Space or anything on like YouTube yet. I know you guys are recommending some things for me. I think I will look into that this weekend. If I do, I'll definitely let you guys know. Fresh air ahead. See if there's anything we could even watch together or look into and stuff, so. We are overdue for a Discord movie night, I must admit. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. Oop, okay, that's one way. Big jump. Oh, wow. That, uh, okay. They really had me thinking I was dying. <laughs> And a place to save, okay. Should be finding her then. I'm not much higher to climb. They were talking about code, so I'm wondering if this facility has anything to do with Hades. Guess we'll see. She has to be in here somewhere. Stage two complete. Um, okay, December 23rd, 2046, first stage of main facility complete. Attention all staff, it's with pride that I announce the completion of the first level of infrastructure on our primary facility. This compound will be the nerve center for our project and will require the team's continued best efforts to realize by the deadline. But even though there is much more to be done, you should be pleased with all you've accomplished so far. Please find attached a, derail a detailed plan for mustering out of the auxiliary space, which will serve as a contingency site as we proceed with the main facility. 90% of our personnel must be relocated by 5 p.m. Wednesday. If your name does not appear on the assignment list, please email Marissa with me and CC. Your dedication, talent, and intelligence remain daily sources of inspiration. Dr. Kenny Chow, Project Director. He was the one talking earlier. I wonder if I missed another data point. Hmm. Nothing there. How about in here? Menu Someone prank. Hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Uh oh. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken or a junior high locker room? Why not both? Come on, people. Oops. I ask again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. 
What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? Assuming it's no gonna speak when we approach. Your bonds. Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. A whisper is all I ask. To guide me. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. Okay. No, no other immediate questions. Fair enough priorities. Security measures. Anita, as much as I hate the fact that Blevins installed lambent orbicular technology on the lower security door, I admit that for the auxiliary data center, it makes sense, especially given our goals for the central processing unit. I'm sure you're painfully familiar with the process by now, but just in case you need to forward instructions with your team. Yes, okay, we know how it works. Cool. We found the other data point. That's nice that it gives us an extra one in case we missed the first one. About the laundry, so instead Animal we figurine. fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Oh. Interesting. Traded Hollow Hall for valuable rewards. Oh, and our data point. Here we go. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Oh, so do these all have, like, more to them? Let me see. I had an argument with Kenny this afternoon. When a couple's first fight hinges on the Turing Act, you know you're dealing with some real sexy nerds. I won the argument, I guess. But I'm less concerned whether or not I can pull this off with the ethical implications of seating. succeeding. I promised Kenny that the suite of coping mechanisms I've designed will help manage any emotional fallout from the software, but privately, I'm less confident. I'm a programmer, not a shrink. The minutiae of roboethics do start to seem less relevant when a refusal to supply Firebreak with the necessary conditions for its success comes at the costs of millions of lives. It's worth putting one consciousness at risk to save so many others, isn't it? Ugh, trying to solve this with numbers makes me feel like a sociopath. Kenny and I don't need to fight no. about the- Do all these have extras? Yes, they do. If Blevins reconfigures the pattern on the lambent orbicular door axis one more time, I'm going to vomit all over it. Sure, I don't want some gift shop employee rooting around in the firebreak facility, but these measures aren't about security. They're about control. I wonder if Blevins gets in early to watch everybody try to solve the new pattern, perched over his little camera array in his big boy office. What a bridge troll. You'd think that a fraction of his fancy drone budget could go towards buying him some classier body spray. God help me and Kenny if he ever finds out about us. Let's see, attention all staff. At an assembly of our country's finest scientific minds, recruited to address a grave threat to national safety, it would be fair to expect more mature conduct than demonstrated yesterday in the canteen. Mr. Blevins plays a crucial role in the, in the successful execution of Firebreak and is due the respect both of his title and his many contributions to the project. <laughs> Anita, was it you? <laughs> That's funny. He's like, oh no, stop doing that. <laughs> okay, disaster. This is a bunch of stuff. Okay, that's a random list of things. We listened to that one already. Firebreak is doomed without guiding intelligence advanced not only to think but feel. 0.6. What does it mean to quantify an intelligence anyways? You can't just assign a number on a continuum to a conscious mind and then expect it to obey whatever arbitrary limit that number represents. There's no way around it. Without the supervision of a mind beyond human capabilities, or human capacities, Firebreak is going to fail. So, okay, so they're calling this Firebreak. I feel like they're working on Hades and they didn't really know. Or, like, they're, are they working on Gaia? Or, or are they working on the 
AI bots that were supposed to help humanity. Maybe that's more it, because they were talking about like the point four, point four Turing thing we found in the mountain, and she's talking about point six, so it looks like they had to scale down the the awareness a tad bit. Without the supervision of a mind beyond human capacities, Firebreak is going to fail, and 0.6 won't cut it either. By pushing sentience, you inevitably generate a system that can experience emotion. Wild, sloppy, unmanageable emotion. You're capable of abstract thought, you're capable of fear, like vast silver. I won't go through that again. I categorically refuse. Hopefully I can get this all across to Kenny. I like him. I like his little lopsided smile. I especially like those circles he makes with his hands when he gets excited about an idea. If we hadn't been flung together like this, maybe he and I... Well, no point in wool gathering. I wonder, could an artificial brain experience this singular combination of desire and preemptive regret? Some other of these. As far as I can tell... Oh, dear nobody, as far as I can tell, that's who's going to read this. Those spooky guys showed up today with that creep blovins to take measurements of our workstation. And next week, they start installing pharaoh servitors to do our jobs. Bye-bye, Shelly. Bye-bye, Laura. See you never. Hope you enjoy basic income. God, it's gonna be weird to say goodbye to this place. When Quentin and I split, this was all I had. Thank God for a job where I could sit at a panel and press buttons and cry all day. Which, I think, is why we're doing this. Hiding the tapes of our rehearsals in the dam. These tapes are our memories, our ghosts. Through them, we get to haunt this place, keep it human in some small way. This control room where I was sitting when Laura came in, dragging an old practice amp and a guitar behind her. Shells, she said. Girl. So I was looking at the schematics for this place, and I found the perfect practice space. The acoustics in this place. Seriously, bonkers. Like, echoing through the entire valley kinds of bonkers. Legit. You're going to soil yourself when you see it. I remember asking, practice space? Peace, Shelly. Oh, practice space. <laughs> um, only Gaia was meant to be AI. That's right. Hades was, was not. And all of the subordinate functions are not. Yes. Why it speaks and such now is a mystery. Yeah. It doesn't sound like it was supposed to do that. Also, hi, Aki. Welcome. The new emote. I need some more. Um, and Maddish God, good to see you too. No, it's okay. I'm just kind of trying to talk a lot of this through. It's all good. We're going to figure it out. Okay, what's this? Uh... When I took this job, we had to watch this training hollow, and I remember probably 2% of the actual hollow. At some point, the hollow welcomed me to the damn family, and I felt like AJ, that was such a missed opportunity, because they could have called it a damnly and chose not to. I like it. <laughs> um, the idea that I would ever think of any coworkers as family was pretty ridiculous. But then one day, I looked up, and automation had whittled six people down to just Laura and I, and I was signing papers to dissolve the family I thought I had. And suddenly, my last coworker, with her faded tattoos and perpetually arched eyebrows, was telling me jokes and making me listen to bands I'd never heard of and cheering me up when I cried. Things were really good when it was just the two of us. We used to have these theme days. One time, the sluice gates were open, and we set up beach blankets on one of the catwalks in the intake tower and batted around this inflatable beach ball I had in my apartment for some reason. Laura messed up with the- or messed around with the emergency PA and patched in a bunch of classical surf rock songs. We even put sunscreen on the bridges of our noses. Laura called it the Concrete Beach Party. Hence the name. When Laura brought up band names, I knew pretty much right away that we would that would be our name. Concrete Beach Party. There was never really any other choice. That's cool. Hang on. I'm almost done with these, but this is interesting. I feel embarrassed now, thinking about following Laura out of the pump station like a kicked puppy, wondering what horrible thing I might have done until she threw herself into this room and shut the door behind her and just screamed. The fear of abandonment is weirdly self-centered because it presupposes that little old you are filled with such immense destructive power that you're capable of driving every person you care about away. Anyway, at the bottom of the dam, with her on one side of the door and me on the other, she told me that Metallurgic had bought her mom's house, her whole neighborhood in fact, out from under her to build a new server farm. Oh god, I don't even like that house, she said. I don't even like Indianapolis. I hated every minute I spent in that city as a kid. When they told us we'd have to leave this dam, I went back to my apartment and I sat on my bed and I prayed to a god I don't even believe in that I wouldn't have to move back home, that I wouldn't have to show up on my mom's front stoop with a suitcase and a bunch of stupid excuses. She was trying not to sound like she was crying, but she sounded like she was crying. I got my stupid wish, huh? I asked her where she'd go, and she laughed. 
where else could she go? Back home to help her mom pack up the house, to move to with her into whatever dank little one-room hole Metallurgic's displacement grant will allow them to afford. I think I could have dealt with being one of those losers who celebrate their 40th birthday living in the house they grew up in. But now? Now I don't even have that. I had no idea how to make her feel better. So I just sat on the other side of the door and I started singing the song we were working on, the one about being the last two girls on Earth. And eventually, she started singing along. Love, Shelly. See? Oh. Ooh, and then drama. We got in a fight, Laura and I. After practice, we went out for drinks. There's this row bar in downtown Cody, so we called an auto car and shuttled over. We were the only people there, with the park closing. Cody's becoming a ghost town. The more we drank, the more passive-aggressive our banter became, snowballing out of our control, metastasizing in the empty air between us. And then before either of us really knew what was happening, we were yelling at each other. I kept thinking, like, I'm not abandoning her, she's abandoning me. And I guess she was probably thinking something similar. We got quiet for a while, drank more. Eventually, Laura ordered an auto car and we piled into it, slid as far from each other on the back seat as we could, arms crossed, staring out the window. And then I heard myself talking. Screw it. I don't care if you stay in touch with me. I'm going to stay in touch with you. Whether you like it or not, you're not getting rid of me. Ever. Laura looked at me for what felt like ages. I thought she was going to start yelling, but then her hand crept over mine, and we just sat there together. Oh. And that's that. That's what we have so far. Anything else in this room? I guess let's help her out here. I'll bet the goal's the same. Get the light back. Oh, bigger. Source. Hooray. <laughs> Going this way. Okay, that's going in like a circle. So, nope, that's not gonna work. Let's try the other way. This way. Mm. Not, not quite. Maybe. No, that won't work. So if it goes this way, it kind of has to go this way. Then it has to go that way, and it has to go like that. So that doesn't work. Let me try... <laughs> hey, Baby Bear's Twitch, thank you so much for the bits. How's it going tonight? <laughs> Reminder to hydrate, everyone. Uh... Ooh... Okay, how about this way? Then that kind of brings us back to the same problem, right? Of coming back over here. Can I turn this one? No, I can't turn that one. Uh, oh dear, puzzles. So it didn't really matter, let's see. Because if we go this way, oh no, it does matter. So then we go that way. No, but that still doesn't work. This one needs to be this the other way. And this one needs to go the other way as well. Okay, but this one... No, that just goes in a loop. And then that goes that way. Good. Okay, we're figuring it out. Oop, other way. And this way. That way. 
Most likely, at least. And that way. Where am I trying to make this point? I don't really know. That's something. Oh wait, no, 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 put it back. And then we rotate this one. And that one. Does it need to like loop all the way? Yes, it does. Our Perfect. channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Orea. What? Orea. I need you. Oh, she's actually talking to Gaia. No, I will not submit. Oh. Orea. The demon is forcing you. Orea. Uh-oh, guy is being taken over. You heard it. A voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's drum. She was able to Okay, so the Banuke were talking to Gaia this whole time. For a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. I Let's hope so. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Silence, yeah. Morgan said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? We've been working together, mostly because we share the same enemies. And yet, I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. But it will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. Mm. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Okay. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Werak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light, yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What was she asking for? Yeah. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, Actual in bones? this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Hmm. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. 
You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. What is As the, the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. Cool. Let's help her. I hope but we I can. Want to. That's all I need. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five huh. years ago. Five I didn't years. hear her voice okay. again, until today. What kept you from the spirit, after it begged for help? I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, hmm. and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Does she have more dialogue on silence? About silence? I've told you all I can. Okay. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices when you call the spirit. Captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Gaia and Hades. Whatever this assume. daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum like, is yeah, dangerous wish we could. more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Huh. <laughs> There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. Okay. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge. If you were known among the Werak, Wait, uh, me? No, no, no. Challenge Wait, our no. talk? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak oh, to Oh, is there a new hunting side. ground? Yeah. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Okay, is there a tall neck in the area? Yes, near the frost figures. Matt Damon has secured it. <laughs> it's been frozen in ice for generations. 
What does that have to do with anything? It'll help. Trust me. Maybe even more than I thought. If you say so. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw Mad your Damon spirit at our feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. What is that? I would like to check that out. Thank you. Storm Slinger Weapon Box. Oh wow, we've got a lot of these. We got some boxes, guys. There we go. We have some more skill points. Hang on. First... Storm Slinger fires charged bolts. Consecutive bolts build up a larger charge and deal increased damage. That's cool. Sure. Give that a try. Okay, tutorial for that too, nice. Anything else to find in this room? I want to make sure we are nice and thorough before we go anywhere. Any other lore? Looks like we got it all. Okay, well, see you later, Aurea. Happy we can help each other out. The air. Me. <laughs> <coughs> How do I get down from here? What is it? Fall? Yes. Yes, I do. Alright, so we are all the way up here. So there's Araya's retreat. Here is our campfires and all of that. Looks like we've got some things to do around here. Repair and override the tall neck. Maybe that's like the next thing I should do. You know? I'll bring ourselves over here. And I think we're going to wrap it on up here for today. We are nicely set up for next stream. We made good progress starting starting the uh, DLC today. Prince Might take another stream or two to get through it all. Praise the sun. Depends on how long the streams are, I suppose. <laughs> Karja have been here working since the spire cast a shadow on the Mesa. The Osaram are newcomers. That voice, every time, that's someone familiar. Um, hi, Locus Pocus, good to see you. Welcome back, how you been doing? Yeah, the tall neck seems like that would definitely be pretty useful. So I think we will start there next time. Also kind of cool how it has like this split off area over here. Like, I wonder what that's gonna be. I'm sure we're gonna make our way up there at some point soon, so. Was there a power cell up there? I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure we're gonna come back though, regardless. Um, okay guys, well that is going to be it for Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you for joining me today. TwitchCon in Las Vegas. Yes, I mentioned that earlier. Is that something I should try to go to? Like, are you guys going? Is that... that I, I know it'd be fun. I'm, I'm considering if that is something that I will be able to do or not. So I, I'm gonna have to let you guys know. We can make it like a goal or something also. I don't know. There, there's some options. Paris would also be... Hey, I know who you are. Hey, Sithis! <laughs> Paris would also be amazing. That, the, the, psst, that got me. <laughs> Thank you, Bowmans. Oh, I appreciate it. I hope you had a good night. <laughs> it was supposed to snow today. Woke up to several inches of heavy pack and snow with sleet. Ooh. Don't recommend cleaning your car off while wearing shorts. The snow goes into your shoes. That sounds terrible. <laughs> oh my god. As someone who's getting used to snow here, um... You cannot catch me outside in shorts in this weather. Eh, eh, in under any circumstances, really. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh, tickets will be out by July or August for Twitch on La Las Vegas. Aren't they going to come out sooner? I don't know. They've at least announced it, so 
if I'm interested, I should book like a hotel or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, but anyways, you guys, that's some fun stuff that is a possibility. And the main thing is Horizon Forbidden West soon. So thank you, baby bears. Thank you for the, thank you for the bits. I don't have the scare alerts on right now. A lot of these alerts are kind of scary even though on their own. Oopsies. Um, you only made it for the last hour stream. No worries, no worries. We were just kind of getting set up for a while today. And uh, and I'll make sure that I'm online even longer next time. So we'll we'll go for a while. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How about going to SantaCon? Is that a thing? I wouldn't be surprised if that's a thing. You know? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> um, what else was I saying? I don't know going to be expensive. Yeah, that's kind of my main hesitation with considering TwitchCon. I'm like, that's, that seems like it's going to be a lot, and especially like in Vegas and stuff. And apparently there's like another festival going on that exact same weekend and in like the same area of Vegas. So like prices, um, but I guess we'll see. So anyways, that is all stuff to consider. I will think about it. Getting out of the house. What? 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 Um, yeah, no, the hotels will definitely capitalize on that. They were reasonable when I looked this morning. I just took a, like a quick look. Reasonable, but still, you got to spend like a couple nights, so it adds up. So, you know. You wouldn't recommend SantaCon. Okay, a bunch of people dressed as SantaCon. A new hand touches the vegan. <laughs> a bunch of people dressing, dressing up as Santa Claus, drinking a lot in New York. That sounds like an event. For sure. <laughs> Thank you, Bobance, for the bits. Uh, um, oh, I know what I was going to say. So we're, we're going to start Forbidden West as soon as possible here. But I also really want to play The Last of Us, like, as soon as possible. Because, like, you know, the show's coming out and I'm, like, trying to avoid the spoilers and, and all that fun stuff. Um, I think I might, like, kind of switch back and forth between those two a little bit. Especially because The Last of Us is a lot shorter than Forbidden West. I might kind of want to like alternate a little bit between uh, both of those until we are done with The Last of Us. And then we'll see if we want to throw in another game there or just push through to the end of Forbidden West. So we've got a lot of options. I've got God of War as a part of my PS5 bundle. So that's an option too. But I'd probably want to start with some of the older games. So anyways, anyways, that is all fun stuff to come. Uh, I'm going to try to plan a 12 hour stream coming up soon. <laughs> Wish me luck on that. Um, because I do want to thank you guys for all of the support and incredible, just incredibleness lately. Hopefully I'll do that um, after I get the PlayStation set up so we can just play PlayStation games all day. That sounds fun. Um, Last of Us might make a nice palate cleanser between. That's kind of what I was thinking. I right, just maybe push through with The Last of Us and then go to Forbidden West. We've got options. We've got options. So we will see. Um, remote into a segue. Wait, what? Okay, guys, we're gonna pick someone to go right here. Go press on the hype to for the evening and uh, And then I will be back to start a new week. I will be back on Monday There's like a tiny tiny chance that like I throw in a stream on Sunday If I did I'll let you guys know I'll do something then maybe a movie too. movie night at least but maybe even a stream. No, not necessarily because if, if we're gonna do like a big week if we're gonna set up PlayStation and stuff Probably not. So probably see you guys on Monday. Anyways, um, don't play The Last of Us after playing a fast-paced game. You made the mistake of playing first Spider-Man and then The Last of Us. Oh, just change a pace. I mean, I think that's going to be kind of nice here, at least. Um, one Light Kitty, thank you so much for the raid. Hello and welcome, everyone. How are you guys doing? Can we get a shout-out for One Light Kitty? Check out the stream. Drop a follow. How are you guys doing? I'm Paige the Witch. We are wrapping on up here, um, but we we're looking for someone to raid ourselves, so we'll go all pass on the hype. We were playing um, Horizon Zero Dawn, getting into the Frozen Wilds DLC. I know how to speak, <laughs> and uh, that's been really fun. So we're gonna keep going with that a little bit more on Monday, and then, like I said, Forbidden West and The Last of Us Part One. So that'll be fun. What were you up to? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I know we are wrapping up even a little bit early tonight. I was feeling a little bit on the tired side today. I do admit. It's it's been it's been one of those weeks where I'm just like, oh my goodness, I'm ready to just sleep tomorrow. <laughs> ah, raid train. Exactly. What were you guys up to? Were you playing Horizon? Do you do you also play Horizon? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 
<clears throat> okay, here we go. Um, let's see, I was just seeing who else is online. My Horizon's been really great. It's been a good game. The story went so much like darker than I expected. I, I didn't see a lot of this coming. I, will, I have to say, I must admit. <laughs> Good go. Yeah, I think we'll go over here. Mm, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go raid Energetic, playing some Mortal Shell. Let's go on over there. Seems like an interesting game. Kind of Souls-ish. Looks cool. I've been wanting to go back to a Souls game. I've been kind of thinking about it. Elden Ring has been somewhat calling my name. Some of the, I, I don't know. I could consider like Sekiro. Well, now that we have a PlayStation, I can play like Bloodborne and Demon Souls, and I think I'd like those a lot. So, those could I could throw those in coming up as well. That would be a, a lot of fun and some good chaos. So, all right, you guys. Uh, I was good to have you all here, and uh, let's let's take our raid message and go raid Energetic. All right, you guys. See you all on Monday. I am Paige the Witch. I am here on Twitch. Just thank you all so much for the support lately. Go get some rest and stuff. Have a nice weekend. See you all soon. Good night.